welcome to the channel welcome back my name is Anisi and if you are here for the first time I would like to say thank you for stopping by um, what I try to do on this channel is incorporate a little bit of my personal stories um, because I think it's more authentic so yeah guys living paycheck to paycheck and what has what um, the habits that caused that and how I changed those behaviors first not paying myself first so once I got my paycheck I would pay my fixed ex take care of my fixed expenses take care of my um, variable variable expenses and after those things were taken care of I would tell myself like everybody does everybody says you know you've worked hard you've put in 50 hours a week um, take care of yourself treat yourself so you go to the spa you get facial you get all this fancy little stuff done you go to the store you treat yourself to a nice outfit you go to the restaurant you even decide you needed you need a vacation so you go on a little getaway and you just blow your your your, your paycheck and then you you come back one week into um that paycheck you look at your checking account and you like wow where did the money go and you 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 probably only have um 100 dollars left and you realize you didn't even save anything. That's it's not even in your mindset to save something towards a, 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 an emergency fund or, or your retirement. You just it's just programmed in you that you should just treat yourself and pay your bills. And when you do decide to allocate what's left, it's just in the for the event something happened until you get your next paycheck so that was one of the habits that really kept me living um, paycheck to paycheck and when I realized how disadvantageous this was for me I started to prepare for myself every paycheck a budget a budget because what a budget does and what a budget has been doing for me is that it has helped me manage my manage my finances manage my paycheck organize my financial life so that I know that even before I get paid I know exactly where every dollar is going I know the function of every dollar and also it has helped me to intentionally allocate a certain percentage of my salary into a retirement account the other thing that kept me living paycheck to paycheck was trying to keep up with the Joneses and a lot of us will probably not want to admit that and although I'm a very very strong-minded person I really walk in my own lane I dance to the beat of my own drum but there has been aspect in my life especially when I started corporate and I was in the midst of these people who were so sophisticated who dressed so beautifully I mean you are thrown in this environment that you've never been before all of these fancy people and just you just like hey I need to also upgrade my um, my my attire and I need to up upgrade my appearance and it's not bad to do that because you also need to dress for success now that you are in that environment you need to dress for success but you what I realized is that and not necessarily realize but what I had to think about is that spending is spending is public and debt and saving is private yes you can see what all of these people are wearing where they are eating um, 
um, the whether they are taking public transportation or they are or they are using taxis you can see all of that but you do not see their how much debt they are in because they could also be living paycheck to paycheck but they could all also be using credit card to um, finance that kind of lifestyle or these are people that could that may have been working for years and they have already amassed a retirement fund that they are currently reaping the returns from their investment so i had to catch myself quickly and realize that i cannot use these people as an example this, this i cannot because these people are probably way better off than I am. You study, you have just started. Stay in your lane. I did dress nice, I did dress professionally, but everything was on a budget. I would purchase my clothes from TJ Maxx, from Marshalls. There was a time when I was like, even I decided that everybody was eating at the cafeteria, going to the restaurants for lunch, or standing in line to get um, expensive uh, salads and I decided yeah I also need to do that too and I started to do the same thing but then I'm like why are you doing that cook your lunch bring your lunch to work bring your coffee to work do those things you just started stay in your lane and when I had the confidence to do that I kept my money I kept my money, I kept most of my money because there was no need for me to satisfy a lifestyle that I could not afford. So if, if, if you are in a position where you are trying to keep up with the Joneses, I'm telling you it is, this is not wise. It is not wise because like I said, spending is public, but debt and savings are private you do not see that aspect of people's life you only see the outside the spending so never use that as a compass as to how you should go about with your financial life the next thing that kept me living paycheck to paycheck and I think that's the case for many of us is that we think that we have time especially when it comes to investing we think that we have time we are still young hey I am still young this I have so many years before I'm 65 before I'm 70 before I decide to retire so I'm just gonna chill a bit and enjoy life but what we don't realize is that time is the most powerful investment tool time and I will tell you why simply because of compounding interest the earlier you start the more advantageous advantageous it is for you when it comes to compounding interest because you will have you have a lot of time to build and grow your your investments and compared to a person that decides to start at 40 at 50 at 60 at 70 then what you have is what what you put is what you have you don't have enough time to build that to grow that another thing another thing that i realize and that really causes us to live paycheck to paycheck is that we we live in the moment we live on immediate gratification we do not like to delay gratification for a little bit. Although I do advocate for living in the moment, but I also do believe that we should also focus for the future where our money is concerned. Because you, you don't know. One thing is we do not know what the future holds. You could die young or you could live to, to 100. You do not know so it's very important that although we should enjoy you know the moment you know live a little bit we should also focus for the future in the event we are spared and live 
to see old age, retirement age, because you want to know that when you retire, you want to retire comfortably and you want to retire confidently. Another thing I realized that keeps us living, to, living paycheck to paycheck is, I don't know, this lifestyle that everybody's talking about, you only live once kind of lifestyle and society has even begun valuing this lifestyle where they even if you do not have the the funds before it it was credit cards but now i see all of this these companies that that offer this um buy now pay later so they give you the opportunity to to go on on fancy luxurious vacation and they give you the opportunity to go on a shopping spree and what we don't realize is that we have to pay back we have to pay back those monies so when you do all those things on credit you are left with nothing of when you are paid because you have to pay those companies back so we have to try to have that mindset that you know what if i cannot pay cash then i cannot afford it you know if you cannot pay cash you cannot afford it and leave it alone live within your means thank you so much guys for watching this video i really really hope that it was beneficial for you i hope you were able to pick up something from this video if you did comment in the comment section tell me which um point that resonated with you i would really love to hear from you thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next video